and here it is the very first page available on reddit by the way in its entirety however all this bonus contest to the left that is what i'm making the video on so obviously wheelbase 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 is our number one value right here it is in millimeters in america we use inches whatever and wheelbase is basically you know this is for all you 13 year old squeakers is the distance between front wheels and the rear wheels basically how long is your car but not exactly how long the car is but how long between front and rear wheels this is obvious and these are the four obvious differences short wheelbase normal wheelbase for like a normal size car and then a long ass wheelbase for a limo common sense that you know it affects all the fucking physics in the universe and that's where all the rule books start with specifying what is the length of your wheelbase next motherfucker in line is weight and you have to listen careful here fuckers because in nesca 2003 there is two lines one that completely matches the r factors line which has total mass including driver but without fuel so everything with your driver ass the car but no fuel that's one line and it is a nesca 2003 physics editor as well but the second line in nesca 2003 physics editor is the weight of the chassis without fuel and without the driver so this introduces a very interesting theory which you motherfuckers should you know get your clues on that the game after it loads it counts for a 200 pound driver that's how i know you could change that but it places the driver somewhere and that upsets the center of gravity like the game simulates the driver weight affecting the other centers of gravity maybe there's a driver position somewhere in the physics anyway this is for all you brainiacs who are a little bit deeper into this but weight weight we're talking about weight and here is the 13 year old squeaker edition you know we have human weight as you can easily see from light to heavy and heavy to light you don't have to be a brainiac to figure this out scientific weights at the bottom of the page you know light heavy heavy light and then three examples of car weight and i mean if you lie on your weight when you're making the mod you're just simply not making the car that you advertise that you're making if if you say that your car in real life weights 3000 pounds but in the game you put 2000 pounds you're simply not making that car like that's as simple as that you little 13 year olds i hope you get that in your mind next yes next and next in line <coughs> is a fucker that is very hard to understand it's called weight distribution or weight balance front to rear right here in uh r factor it uses the percentage of how many how many percent of weight is towards the front in Nesker 2003 they use the percentage of how much weight is in percents towards the rear I know that because I'm a motherfucking pro but uh, basically it's in percents everybody knows what weight distribution is but 13 year old edition of weight balance is coming up right here basically this is how much weight you have on your front wheels and the rear wheels you can see here engine ballast transmission all heavy stuff pushing on the front tire and then maybe battery and a fuel cell pushing on a real tire not so much good examples of this thing is you know <laughs> no this is not good examples but right there let's say a lot of front weight would be this cap chassis right here you see nothing in the back so most of the weight is in the front well obvious or let's say this suv minivan and you put like a giant washer machine in the back or like a giant piece of metal in the back and now all your rear wheels are loaded but this is a good idea for all the 13 year olds to kind of get the idea of what the weight balance is you know front rear real front that's gonna affect of how you brake and how you accelerate you know uh, i'm gonna end it right there before your brains melt and here probably comes the king of gravity and physics called center of gravity height and this one is obvious you little 13 year olds and older adults i'm just not even gonna give you the definition i'm just gonna skip straight to the squeaker version of it and center of gravity guys basically this is how high your center of gravity is 
Google, do your research on a go kart it is very low as you could see on a SUV it's higher and on a stupid English bus you could probably see where the center of gravity would be especially if all the people will be sitting on the top floor basically it's gonna affect the way your car tilts and not only that the way your car tilts in all directions let me just say that all you little squeakers probably already ran away by now so hopefully if the serious people are still watching the next candy is front and rear tracks which is gonna go over, over that one smile a little bit pussycat and go and the very last thing on the list is front and rear tracks those of you that know what's going on you're gonna split into two categories basically right here we have front and rear tracks equal to each other category of people at number one who are gonna realize the importance of shifting one of these tracks just half an inch to the side or half an inch inward or maybe half an inch inward or outward in the front just a tiny adjustment those of you that understand the significance of this tiny little thing moving at this and that that's one category of people the second category of people you just have to just understand that the distance between the front wheels is the front track and distance between the rear wheels is the rear track three cars right here I wanted to show basically a car with approximately equal tracks front to rear basically like a uh, square car not really square but you know what I'm saying another car where rear track would be much bigger than the front track is let's say this dragster is a great example you know the wider the tires in the back and the, the slimmer they are in the front that's the idea as well as you could see the tires in the back are way bigger than the front tires but we're not gonna talk about tires just now so forget about them just imagine and that there is like these two big tires right here we're not talking about tire sizes or dimensions and then an interesting example which you're probably not gonna find in real life is where the rear track is much smaller than the front one usually it's the opposite way usually a good handling car would have a rear track a little bit bigger than the front like it, this creates for good handling but overall geometry actually depends on good handling not just this but usually this variation right here is not <laughs> very efficient or good in any way to simulate and show it to you kind of like this i hope maybe someone appreciates it to simulate one wheel in the back as you know nascar 2003 obviously simulates a car with four wheels you know we're not doing new world silly physics you know he could probably next come up with a three wheel car mod but right here i just have to talk shit i'm sorry bro <laughs> in the back to show that up i guess if you just simulate two rear tires being extremely close to one another it'll be the closest as you can come with a car where the front track is much larger than the rear one i hope you appreciate this little one those that do you fall into category number one and then those that understand a tiny adjustment between front and rear track just like that could cause the whole difference in the race outcome welcome to category of people number one next one's gonna be inertia forces Ooh, whoa yeah this is as best as i could explain it for now for 13 year olds we're not gonna go any closer you know to that this was kangaloosh car factory page number one which is available on reddit in its whole in entirety or whatever that word would be it's my own made up word patented copyrighted so don't you make any modifications to it or i'm gonna sue you bye <laughs>